Kate smiled widely as she was driven from Windsor Castle to the nearby St. George Chapel to attend the service for the Order of the Garter. The Duchess of Cambridge shared the car with Sophie, Countess of Wessex, who also attended the service. For the poignant occasion, Kate donned a blue coat dress with a matching clutch bag and a hat featuring a floral detail. Sophie, on the other hand, wore a pink dress with a beige hat. The two royals attended the event as wives of Royal Knights of the Orders, Prince William and Prince Edward. Members of the royal family reached Windsor Castle earlier today to attend the investiture ceremony in the throne room. This event saw Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, being officially admitted to the most noble and ancient order in the British honour system. The ceremony was followed by a lunch at the castle, at which the royals in attendance, as well as the ladies and knights of the Order of the Garter, were invited. The Queen and Prince Andrew are also believed to have attended the investiture and the lunch. However, they did not take part in the procession to St. George Chapel. The Queen is believed to have pulled out of the event due to her episodic mobility issues. The Duke of York is understood to have missed the service following a family decision. A Buckingham Palace spokesman said, The Duke of York will attend the investiture and lunch today but will not be part of the procession or service. While Kate and Sophie arrived by car, the knights and ladies of the order walked down to the chapel in a procession. The new lady and knight, Baroness Amos and former Prime Minister Tony Blair, were at the front of the procession, while Prince Charles and his wife, who for the first time today donned the velvet robes of the order, were at its end. Following the service at St. George Chapel, the main royal party returned to Windsor Castle through a carriage procession. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge shared the horse-drawn carriage with Charles and Camilla, and were seen smiling and chatting amiably to one another. Sophie and Edward also headed to the castle in a separate carriage. 